Hi, Owls. My name is Mrs. Myers. I teach Honors Bio, AP Bio, and AP Environmental Science here at West. And today we're going to be doing ACT practice for science. All right, um, these are five top tips for ACT science. Number one is expect unfamiliar, confusing science content. Because all of the students in America take different science classes, it would not be fair if they tested you over, say, chemistry knowledge or physics knowledge. Not everybody takes those classes. Um, so it's going to be something you've probably never seen before. That's okay. You can still do it. You just have to read the passage and read the graphs. Okay, number two, go straight to the questions. Um, typically, the passages are going to be very high level. Um, it is not a good use of your time to read it word for word. I would go straight to the questions. Number three, question block to save time. What that means is um, do all the questions about the first table, then all the questions about the second table, and then all the questions about the third table. That way you're not jumping all around. They put the questions in different order to confuse you and slow you down. They'll do like a question about one, and then a question about table two, and then a question back to table one. Um, I don't recommend going straight through the questions in order because then you will get confused and slowed down. All right. Tip number four, pay attention to labels, titles, and units. Those will help you find things quickly. Um, they are your friends for sure. And then the last tip, number five, it is a paper test when you take the real ACT science. So make sure you write all over it. Okay, this is a picture of the passage we're gonna try today. It's from the 2019 ACT. The thing that I want to draw your attention to is that it has table one and then table two. I would recommend do all the questions about table one first, then all the questions about table two, and then the questions about table one and table two. Only one of the questions is about both. If you do all the ones and then all the twos, you're less likely to get confused and you'll probably be more efficient. So I will ask you the questions in that order, all the table ones, then all the table twos. All right, question one asks about table one. Pause your video and try question one. Okay, question one asks, which of the apple varieties will retain as much of its initial firmness as possible when stored for six months? Six months is the same thing as 180 days, okay? And retain means keep. So they're just asking which one will keep the most firmness from the beginning of the chart, zero days, to the end of the chart, 180 days. Your correct answer for one should be A, the Fuji apples. They went from 73 to 56, which is the most retention compared to these other varieties that dropped even lower. All right, try question five. It is also about table one. Okay, question five asks, which of the four varieties of apples show the greatest change and the firmness between 60 and 120 days. So we're comparing this column, 60, to this column, 120 days. Notice that I'm paying attention to labels. They help me figure out which part of the table is important, okay? And I'm looking for the greatest change. The biggest change of these four varieties would be C, Granny Smith. Granny Smith changed from 63 to 49. That is a big change in firmness. All right, now we're gonna try a question related to table two. Try number two. Okay, number two asks about the red delicious apples. So I know I'm paying attention to this bottom row and they're asking about initial. Initial means at zero days, okay? And they're saying, is it greater than, less than, or equal to two, okay? At zero days, red delicious is 2.7. 2.7 is greater than two. So number two should be F. All right, number three, this is another table two question. Number three is a little trickier. You have to read the question carefully. They're asking from zero days to 180 days, okay? Um, would they always increase in the volatile compounds, okay? Pay attention to words like always. Typically things don't always follow a certain rule. Okay, so is it true that all of them always increase? No, that's not true. If we look at 
Fuji, they do increase four to six to eight to nine. If we look at the Gala apples, they go from five to nine, down to seven, down to four. So it's not true for Gala apples or Gala apples, I don't know how to say that. Okay, um, if we look at Granny Smith, they go from one to 1 1.2 to 2.4 to three. So that is true for them, they are increasing. If we read, at read Delicious, it goes from two to nine, down to 8.8, .8, down to 8.6. So it's not true for Red Delicious either, okay? So notice how I'm marking things up. It's true for Fuji and Granny Smith. So number three should be C. It's only true for Fuji and Granny Smith. The other two went down. All right, question four is another table two question. Question four asks, which of the following graphs best shows um, the average volatile abundances of the four ones at storage time of 60 days. So I'm gonna pay attention to the second column, 60 days, and my numbers are six, nine, one, and nine. All right, which of these graphs shows that? Number four should be G. This is about six, about nine, about one, and about nine. Okay, question six. This is the only question that asks about tables one and tables two. This is the only one where you have to look at both tables. That's why I saved it for last. This one's gonna be the hardest. It'll take the most time because I'm looking at two tables. If you were running short on time, maybe I would skip this one and come back to it at the end um, because you know it's gonna take longer and each of the questions on ACT Science are equally weighted. Okay, number six, the answer should be J. Um, the one that had the least average firmness initially, so initially, least average firmness would be Granny Smith. Um, had the greatest volatile abundance at 180 days. At 180 days, Granny Smith did not have the greatest volatile abundance. Okay, these are answers again. I just want to encourage you, um, if you're getting about half of your questions right, score of 58% on the Real Science ACT is a 21 on ACT Science, which is about average in Kansas. That's good enough to go to a KUK State, State College. If you're trying to be more competitive, you do need to inch up towards about 75 to 80% correct um, to get that higher score. Thank you for practicing today. I hope you have a great day.